what's the first thing that pops up into your mind? <laughs> okay? Pyramid. What else? Funny what did you say, sir? Oh, just from uh, the petroglyphs. Okay. Anybody else? Advanced American culture. All right. Now, the word I was looking for was human sacrifice. Mm. Oh. Now, I do not know if I will make or I will break your day because no evidence of human sacrifice was found here. So we're all safe. Big, we're all <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> well, actually, what well, the reason why you know they ruled out they ruled out human sacrifices because they never discovered a ball court. You know where they play the game, mm -hmm. where the ruler could die or the loser could die, depending on the purpose of them playing. Because let's say they're playing the game, giving in, you know, giving something to their god. Who would then be sacrificed, the winner or the loser? Winner. Loser. Winner. Of course, the winner, because you mm. definitely don't want to give your god a loser. So that's when the winner. <laughs> but if you're playing the, 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 you know, playing the game for power, like you know, I'm the leader and you're, you know, we have two tribes, and that's when the loser would die. So depending on the purpose, that determines who dies. All right? Any question before we move on? Let's take our slow walk in. And we walk and then stop, stop and explain. And at the end, I'll give you your free time, okay? original stairs that remain. If you look on this tree right here, you'll see some stuff running on the tree looking like snakes. Yeah. Okay, those are the devil gut cactus. Devil gut cactus. They're actually sharing a symbiosis relationship where the cactus provides water for the tree. However, we have seen documentaries whereby scientists, they're doing research in that type of cactus because they believe that eventually they can find the cure to prostrate and colon cancer. All right? So as we make our way up, now hiking a little bit. If you want, if at any time you want to remove your mask, you can do so, all right? Because the goat is getting hot and very cool. So please keep yourself hydrated. Can smell this? Yes. 
<laughs> Smell this thing right here. Brother. It's all spice. The all spice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All spice. Sure is. Okay. Let's come in the shade line. Edible. <laughs> the leaf. The leaf. Edible. Is that a seasoning? Did you? Did you all If you look, if you look careful on the tree, uh huh, you'll see some little black seed on the tree. Oh. Those seeds are crushed. But you know, and that is where all spice comes from. Oh, yeah. So for my friend that believes that all spice is a combination of all different kind of spices, it comes from one tree right here, all spice tree. Alright? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. I want I want to Ladies and gentlemen, as we enter, just for you to get an idea as to what is original and what is restoration work on the entire site. So they're moving, so let's take the shape. Come guys. Next thing. Mm -hmm. Whether they call it rainy season. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is rainy season or this is That is? Yeah. No, oh, no, this is a fruit. Yeah. This is a fruit called, well, this is the plum. Plum. Okay. Remember that song? Some people say it reminds them of crab apples. Yeah. 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 We make wine. From this too, yeah. In fact, we make wine from anything that ferments. <laughs> I think we have a problem, right? <laughs> yeah, but the most famous wine is made from the, the cashew that Melissa told you about, the cashew, right. cashew wine. Alright? There's also crab apple jelly. Yeah, so this is a piece, this is a piece of um termite. termite. Oh wow. Yeah. I know termites are bad. Yeah, but termites termite. can also be good too. Wow. Let me explain to you why. Oh, okay. if it's in your home, it will it can, we will eat you can eat down your home. But if you are lost and in the jungle and you need survival, yeah, if you're lost mm -hmm. and nothing more to eat or drink, like you try <laughs> <laughs> it. tastes like chicken. I guess everything yeah. tastes like chicken with some hot sauce, right? Yeah. Now, trust me, termite does not taste like chicken. <laughs> termite tastes mm -hmm. like a, you know, imagine, imagine you're eating a, a mint that is muddy, like a muddy mint. Oh. It has a, like a, like a, Slightly minty taste, but a little bit of mud to it. That makes sense. Yeah, so I'm serious. Yeah. Is that from practical because experience that you tried it? <laughs> I, no, I've tried it before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've tried it before, yeah. Oh, okay. Because a tiny body of the termites are very, very high in protein. Oh. So it will give you, but I mean, that should be your last resort, of course. But if you gotta live, then you gotta live, right? Yeah. Yes, my friends, welcome to Plaza B. Now, earlier I mentioned over there that um, we have found evidence whereby they were drilling their teeth and putting in jade. Uh -huh. Okay, I have some pictures to support my, mm. my statement. They have the jade inlaid. The jade inlaid. This is pictures of some remains that we have found with the teeth inlaid with jade. 
and you know so they were using the young allspice leaf to do their dentistry oh work all right so jade is uh native yeah jade is not jade is not, not na native, not native not because it. jade is a volcanic rock and we do not have volcanoes so they, here they found it in the other mayan too. yeah, yeah. But here in here in Belize we no. do not have we do not have volcanoes so definitely can't be. So we don't know they was traded, we was brought in here and then we actually export different stuff. So All right. How did, how did the jade get to this one? I, how did the Mayans traded. get the jade? Remember I mentioned that this 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 site uh -huh. was at one time sit on the coast because this site measures five square miles and the okay. Caribbean Sea is only six miles in that direction. Okay. So, okay. And there's a river not too far away. Okay. So it was accessible either by the sea or by the river. So definitely it was actually a, a site that was used for that, that was trading. Mm -hmm. Ceremonial mm -hmm. trading center. Ladies and gentlemen, um, as I mentioned, welcome to Plaza B. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, over that side we have B5. B5 in the in the in the in the like the area where I have the steps is the only area on the entire site itself where we have discovered the remains of a of a my, a child. We have found the remains of a child. So All right, but that child was found with this skull, like fat crush. The the skull was actually crushed. Out. All right. Some people believe that that, that that child came to a gruesome death, but that doesn't have to be the, the case. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Mayas believe that once you are a part of the elite family, you weren't allowed to look at the common people. So what did they do to differentiate themselves from the common people? When a child was born within an elite family, they would have placed a flat gold object to the front of the forehead and a flat object to the back, which would then be banned. And as the child grows, he or she would eventually, the, the skull would be like shaped into the, like that flat, like, you know, like, like that slope mm -hmm. like this, something like this. Flat the forehead, cone shaped, white head. All right, and also, my friends, that wasn't enough. They placed a bright object, like a bead, that would be hung directly in the center of the child's eyes. And maybe a red or a bright object. And as a child grows, he or she would be focusing on that bright object. And eventually it weakens the muscle of the child's eye. It allows the child to become cross-eyed. Now imagine, cone-shaped head, cross-eyed, and grilled teeth. But then that was beauty. But for us, beauty lies within the eyes of the behold them now my friends over at b3 b3 was actually a, a structure that was used for residential that was resi because you could actually have to have the rooms there that was used for residential but the one that mel is standing in front of melissa try and move something in here stop i can see the sign i don't want to take a picture <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that one has been named the temple of the sun god now if you look carefully on that that temple right there guys how many of you see facial masks like facial like face masks facial masks on that temple you see it how many do you see what we see like masks like facial masks like face masks the mask you see four anybody else look at it carefully Oh, yeah, the lower part. There's five. There's five facial masks. Yeah, two, two. Okay, two on the left, two on the right of the stairs, and one in the middle. The Mayas they built symmetrically. What was on one side had to be on the other side. So there's two, two, and one in the middle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see the square piece that protrudes from the top. The square piece that comes from the, in between the stairs to the top. To be exact, in the year 1968. The most, I don't know what word to use, amazing discovery was discovered right within that same square piece right there. That is a tomb. They had one of the local guys who was assisting the archaeologist. He was standing on the top. It was actually at the end of the workday. So he was just relaxing to the top. They're standing up and the top collapsed. 
So he fell into what he thought was just a regular hole. But when they did excavation within that area, it was actually a tomb he fell into. They found remains of a priest. And right beside his, like the pelvic area, they found something wrapped in a piece of white cloth. When they unfolded the cloth, they discovered a beautiful head. Solid jade, green in color, beautiful. I mean, it is actually the largest piece of single carved jade ever to be discovered within the entire Mundo Maya world. And the Mundo Maya world consists of five countries, Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Belize. So within the entire Mundo Maya world, the greatest discovery has been found right within that same square piece right there. It is the jade head. It is Belize's most priceless treasure. Mm -hmm. To be honest, my friends, that jade head, it stands six inches in height, weighing nine and three quarters of a pound. Solid, solid jade. For us, diamonds are our number one stone, right? Mm -hmm. But for the Mayans, jade was their number one stone. If you put diamond and jade on a scale, sorry, one to ten, with ten being the highest, diamond would be at ten, but jade would be like seven, seven and a half, eight, comparing to the Mayans. So imagine yourself finding a piece of diamond that weighs, you know, nine and three quarters of a pound. Would you be here listening to me? No. no. <laughs> so the jade head, it looked like this, guys, like this, to be. Like this. Wow. Wow. Mm. You guys see? Yes, this is actually the jade head. Yeah. All right. Oh, beautiful. This is Billy's most priceless treasure, guys. Most priceless treasure. When this jade head is out on display, it carries more security than the Prime Minister of Belize. Wow. I'm serious. We never know the true location of this jade head. Wow. It is self, yeah. it is, they say that it's kept in one of the vaults at the central bank, but we never know the true location of it. I've lived here for all my 45 years of life, and I've seen it in the original one time. Mm. It only comes out when they have imported people that come to visit our country. All right, so with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, who's going to climb that big guy and who's going to not? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs>